So we have the the first of the um, of the the main questions. Uh, some of these questions are anonymous, by the way, um, not for any sinister reason. Just obviously, people just didn't want to put their name to things, or they just said, no, I don't, "Don't say where he's from." Um, but the, the first question to both of you is: What services does a parish need to provide if it's to survive as more than just a building? The shortage of priests means that St Catherine's could have to share a priest within ten years. Well, yeah, I was thinking about that. I'd like to ask the lady herself if she was here, you know, what sort of services does she think we should provide? Because hmm. it's uh, sort of a bit of an open-ended question, really. I mean, she said, apart from religious services, but there are other, I mean, it's, there's a community, isn't there? And there are various community activities like lunch and clubs and things like that that are part of the community. But she mentioned shortage of priests and many would say, well, there's not actually a shortage of priests with more priests in this country than nearly every other country in the world. We've just had a, a certain glut of priests for a certain period uh, because we got a lot from Ireland and there were more people coming forward. But that in terms, proportionally, we have the same number of priests coming forward uh, in relation to the number of practicing Catholic families we have as we've ever had. So we've got what you might, is, we deserve, you might say, what is provided. You know, and we just have to learn to be church in a different way. That it won't just be down to the priests, the sort of professionals, but it will be much more the community who will have to be involved in reaching out to people. You know, and you know, we're all called as Christians to try and share the good news, share what we believe, share our faith. It's not just down to us as professionals. And I think that was going to come more to the fore. So there's many good and positive things to, to look forward to in the future, even though there may be fewer priests. There'll always be the mass and the sacraments for those who, who want it. I'm sure about that, you know, but it won't be like it used to be in the past when there might be two and three priests in every parish. Okay. Father Michael, is there anything you want to add? No, yeah, just um, priests will have to prioritise what they're ordained to do, which is the sacraments and, um, yeah, but we'll cope. It is, you know, the community will, will step up. Like, I mean, for example, what we've been doing uh, since the lockdown, um, you know, everyone's praising us as priests, which is great. <laughs> I always like a bit of praise. But, um, you know, all we're doing is being willing to do these things. But as you said earlier, there's a team of people behind everything that we're doing, and they their expertise is way better than ours. So you just apply that to other areas in the future where um, we'll all start, we'll work together. We already are working together, but we'll just continue with that kind of thing. And I mean, we are lucky here. We've got two priests uh, for two churches, so we're, we're better than most places in the diocese. But, um, but God is good. So The next question is another anonymous one, and, and, it's, and it's for Father John, actually. And that is, I'm not really aware of St. Catherine's involvement in churches together. So please, can you update us on that? Yeah, there, there isn't sort of a churches together um, group as such in Didsbury. I mean, I, I know the Baptist minister here, I met him when I came and I've met one of the Anglican ministers. Um, but there isn't a sort of what we call a fraternal, a meeting of different clergy. Um, so I suppose it's, it's something that at one time was quite prominent in a lot of places, um, but seems to have faded somewhat you know in recent years the ecumenical involvement but i think we've reached a point where we all would get on together i mean in, in it's only within people's lifetime that you couldn't even enter a non-catholic church you know but now we, we can work together on certain things we can pray together um you know we're, we're on good good terms with each other but i think we've all as fewer of us and we've all got our own parishes and commitments you know and it's not really a priority I suppose for in many churches today, that's my experience, you know, but that's, there's no ill will or ill feeling or anything, and wherever it was felt appropriate, we would work together. But uh, a lot depends on individuals as well, individual clergy, you know, committed they are to that, how much they feel it's a priority. But there's not a lot in Didsbury at the moment. Right, okay.